I always like to start a, a book with a bang, and uh, what happens here is a news reporter, or a magazine writer actually, is, is in an Italian restaurant, a really cool Italian restaurant in New York. He's interviewing a sports personality who's sort of been on the lam for several years. Uh, and it's a big, big, big story. So he's, he's really into this interview, and at the next table, a guy walks in and, and murders a big uh, mafia don. So uh, th that's very distracting, and the next time he looks, the sports hero is gone. So it's kind of a cool way to start things off. Don't Blink is about the mafia, uh, two mafias really, the Italian mafia and the Russian mafia, and they're, you know, really big, big conflict, which is kind of interesting in terms of who's going to uh, really be the king kingpins in New York and I guess the whole East Coast. Our poor journalist gets thrown right in the middle of it. I, I don't think that the, the hit on Paul Castellano at Sparks uh, Steakhouse in New York had anything to do with the hit in Don't Blink, but I, I guess this stuff sits in your head and you never know where the ideas come from. I mean, there have been a lot of uh, mafia hits in New York at various restaurants. They seem to like to hit people while they're eating for some reason, maybe because you got your fork and your knife and, you know, you figure you no room for a gun in your hand, et cetera. I don't know. Well, I think the main t uh, tension between Nick and Courtney is uh, he works for her. She's his boss, and they have a relationship. Um, and I think that's always tricky, whether it's the man reporting into the woman or the woman reporting into the man. Um, plus, in terms of, uh, you know, what happens in Don't Blink, they both get in terrible, terrible danger. Um, so that uh, puts conflict on conflict. You know, I've written about New York before, uh, the Michael Bennett uh, uh, stories and and don't blink and i'm sure there have been a couple others just a lot of things can happen sort of believably in new york a lot of bad things a lot of good things um it's a place where a lot of police agencies can work together it's interesting i know new york because i've i've, I've lived here or i did live here for quite a while